हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूटिलिटी सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डेड टाइप्स ऑफ यूटिलिटी एंड अभी हम शुरू करने जा रहे हैं कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूटिलिटी एंड टू इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट हम करेंगे फर्स्ट है टोटल यूटिलिटी एंड सेकेंड है मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ना स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियस वीडियोज में मैंने आपको कहा था कि देर इज वन पर्सन एल्फ्रेड मार्शल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हेम यूटिलिटी कैन बी मेजर्ड कार्डिनल मेजरमेंट बट इन रियलिटी मेजरमेंट इज डिफिकल्ट मेजरमेंट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट स्टूडेंट योर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज नंबर्स इन ऑर्डर टू मेजर यूटिलिटी एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर यूटिलिटी कैन बी मेजर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू एल्फ्रेड मार्शल विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूटिल्स यूटिलिटी किसके थ्रू मेजर होगा यूटिल्स लाइक जैसे ग्राम किलोग्राम मीटर लीटर सेंटीमीटर फॉर यूटिलिटी इट इज यूटिल्स फाइव यूटिल्स एट यूटिल्स टेन यूटिल्स ट्वेंटी यूटिल्स सो यूज दिस लैंग्वेज सो इन रियालिटी स्टूडेंट्स यू कैनॉट मेजर यूटिलिटी बट एज पर द कॉन्सेप्ट एज पर द पर्सन एल्फ्रेड मार्शल utility can be measured with the help of what utils so it's a measurement tool so two concepts total utility and marginal utility now what is the meaning of total utility let's see so pehle main yahan pe likhta hu total utility that is tu formula hai total utility ka T U is equals to summation of M U. Summation of M U. Summation means addition. Let's see the meaning. So utility derived by a consumer. The answer is only a utility derived by a consumer after consuming all units of the commodity. सब यूनिट्स कंज्यूम करने के बाद टोटल आपको जो यूटिलिटी मिला उसको हम कहेंगे टोटल यूटिलिटी नाउ मीनिंग एवरीवन वन नोज वॉन्ट सेटिस्फाइंग पावर ऑफ अ कमोडिटी सो इफ यू कंज्यूम अ कमोडिटी फर्स्ट यूनिट सेकंड यूनिट थर्ड यूनिट फोर्थ यूनिट सो सब यूनिट्स को आप ऐड करोगे एंड जो यूटिलिटी आपको मिलेगा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज टोटल यूटिलिटी सो यूटिलिटी डिराइव बाय अ कंज्यूमर आफ्टर कंज्यूमिंग ऑल यूनिट्स ऑफ द कमोडिटी उसको हम कहेंगे टोटल यूटिलिटी फॉर्मूला हम देखेंगे थोड़े थोड़ी देर में अब देखते हैं वॉट इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी आई विल राइट एम यू फॉर्मूला लिख लेते हैं एम यू एन इज इक्वल्स टू टी यू एन माइनस टी यू एन माइनस वन और वी कैन राइट एम यू इज इक्वल्स टू चेंज इन टी यू अपॉन चेंज इन क्वान्टिटी दो फॉर्मूला इसके वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी मार्जिनल मीन्स एडिशनल पहले मार्जिनल का मीनिंग समझते हैं नौ से एग्जाम्पल देर आर फाइव एप्पल्स देर आर हाउ मेनी एप्पल्स फाइव एप्पल्स One more apple is added. Total कितने हो गए Six. This is total. But how much was added? How much additional apple came? One. So this, if I talk only about this, then it becomes marginal. So out of this total, from this total, one more was added. Total हो गए Six. But the addition made was one unit. so if i talk about only the sixth unit then it is marginal like in a classroom there were 50 students 50 and two more students were added so total 52 ho gaye but kitne add hue two so if i talk about only those two students we were which were added then i i am talking about the word marginal so marginal utility is that utility which is derived by a consumer after consuming one additional unit of the commodity after consuming one additional unit of the commodity so that is nothing but which utility marginal utility so let's understand both the concepts with the help of table and then we will come to formula 
and you can easily understand the formula. So, I will take the example of apple number of units total utility marginal utility. Now, when I consume first unit of apple, when I consume first unit of apple, so what is happening? I derived a utility of 10 utils. Mujhe kitna utils ka satisfaction mila? 10. Now, students, according to Marshall, utility can be measured. So, I am using numbers and it is measured through utils. So, after consuming one unit of apple, I got 10 utils satisfaction. So, marginal utility is 10. Total utility will also be 10 because we have consumed only one apple till now. So, this was giving you 10 utils. Now, I decided to consume one more unit of apple or ek apple mene khaya. So, total kitne apple ho gai students? Do apple ho gai. So, total kitne ho gai? Do apple. Two apples. So, the second apple, I am talking about this. The second apple is giving me 8 utils satisfaction. Is giving me 8 utils satisfaction. Satisfaction and utility has gone down students. Marginal utility is 8. See students, when I was consuming 1, I got 10 utils. Total utility was also 1 because quantity is 1. Now, I am consuming second second apple. I am only talking about this second apple. This second apple is giving me 8 util satisfaction, but both together, both together will give me how much? 18, that is 8 plus 10. Because here it is mentioned, addition of MU will give you TU. Addition of MU will give you TU. Now, I decided to consume the third unit of apple so now total 3 but can i say this is the third unit this third unit is giving me four utils satisfaction if you observe as you keep on increasing the quantity of apple your utility your extra utility your marginal utility is falling why because first mango First apple gave you very high satisfaction because you were consuming it for the first time. But same apple, again same fruit, back to back if you consume, then your utility, your happiness, your satisfaction diminishes. Because same commodity, if you consume back to back, your utility will fall, your happiness will fall because your intensity is going down. Because now you have already developed a taste so, if you consume one commodity back to back, then you will have a lot of fun in the first unit. Tha, but if you consume the same fruit every time, then it will be good, but it will be less than before. So, marginal utility, marginal utility, the extra utility, the extra happiness you were getting, will diminish. So, now third unit of apple, third unit of apple, Third unit of apple is giving me four utils ka satisfaction. Tino apple ne mujhe kitna diya? 22. Ab main agar fourth apple khata hu. So now this fourth apple. Now students, this fourth apple, I am talking about this now, is giving me zero utility. Marginal utility is zero because now my stomach is full. I am fully satisfied. Hum jab kehte hai na ke bas abhi mujhe nahi chahiye. My stomach is full. Uska matlab aapko wo product kuch extra utility matlab marginal utility nahi de raha hai. Utility ho gai hai zero. So total utility bhi rahegi same 22. So fourth unit marginal utility was zero. Total utility remains same. But agar say example aapne fifth unit forcefully khaya, kisi ne aapko forcefully fifth apple khilaya, ke nahi tere liye hi humne cut kiya tha, khana hi padega, khana hi padega, 
कैन आई से नाउ यू आर कंज्यूमिंग फिफ्थ यूनिट फोर्सफुली आपको बिल्कुल मन नहीं है फिर भी आप कंज्यूम कर रहे हो तो फोर्सफुली अगर आप खाओगे तो आपको डिस सेटिस्फैक्शन मिलेगा डिस यूटिलिटी मिलेगा स्टूडेंट्स एंड डिस यूटिलिटी मतलब आपको जो एक्स्ट्रा यूटिलिटी मिल रही थी वो नेगेटिव में चली जाएगी वो चली जाएगी नेगेटिव में एंड मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी विल फॉल मार्जिन टोटल यूटिलिटी विल फॉल ट्वेंटी टू हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी सो so, ये प्लीज टेबल आपको याद रखना है नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स कंज्यूम्ड फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव टोटल यूटिलिटी टेन एटीन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी एंड मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी था टेन एट फोर जीरो माइनस टू सो एज नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स इंक्रीजेस मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी डिक्रीजेस बिकॉज मोर ऑफ अ थिंग यू हैव द लेस यू वॉन्ट टू हैव मोर ऑफ इट अगर मुझे वैरायटी में फ्रूट्स मिलेंगे ना तो मेरा मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इंक्रीज होगा बट सेम फ्रूट बैक टू बैक मैं कंज्यूम कर रहा हूं तो इनिशियली यूटिलिटी इज मोर बट लेटर ऑन यूटिलिटी विल स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग फिर जीरो और फिर नेगेटिव भी हो सकता है जिसको हम डिस यूटिलिटी कहेंगे सो दिस टेबल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक बार लास्ट टाइम टेबल को देखिए कैन आई से फर्स्ट यूनिट बोथ टी यू एंड एम यू आर सेम ओके सेकेंड यूनिट ऑनवर्ड्स मतलब यहां से टी यू इंक्रीजेस एट डिमिनिशिंग रेट ये देखो टी यू इंक्रीजेस बट एट डिमिनिशिंग रेट मतलब यहां पे वो फोर से इंक्रीज हुआ यहां पे जीरो ये नेगेटिव हो गया बट एम यू डिमिनिशेस फोर्थ यूनिट एम यू इज जीरो टी यू इज मैक्सिमम ध्यान दीजिए एम यू इज जीरो टी यू इज मैक्सिमम इसको हम फुल सेटिस्फैक्शन पॉइंट कहते हैं फुल सेटिस्फैक्शन आई एम फुल्ली सेटिस्फाइड एंड फिफ्थ यूनिट वेन एम यू बिकम्स नेगेटिव टी यू फॉल्स एम यू बिकम्स नेगेटिव टी यू फॉल्स This is disutility point, dissatisfaction point. Forcefully आपने वो fifth apple खाया था आपको बिल्कुल मन नहीं था Utility हो गया negative. कौन सा utility? Marginal utility. Extra वो fifth, fifth last unit जो खाया उसका satisfaction negative हो गया So this was very important table which was explaining total utility and marginal utility. So what is the definition? Utility derived by a consumer after consuming all units of the commodity. TU. What is marginal utility? Utility derived by a consumer after consuming one additional unit of the commodity. So formula, look here. TU is equal to summation of MU. Summation means addition. Ten plus eight, eighteen. Eight plus four, twenty-two. Twenty-two plus zero, twenty-two, and 22 माइनस टू विल गिव यू 20 मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी का फॉर्मूला एम यू एन इज इक्वल्स टू टी यू एन माइनस टी यू एन माइनस वन एन स्टैंड फॉर नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स यहां पे देखिए उन्होंने क्या दिया है ये फॉर्मूला मैंने लिखा एम यू इज इक्वल्स टी यू इज इक्वल्स टू एम यू वन प्लस एम यू टू प्लस एम यू थ्री डेट इज नंबर ऑफ यूटिलिटीज Where total utility T U stands for total utility, M U stands for marginal utility. M U one, M U two, M U three, marginal utility of each unit. M U n marginal utility of nth unit. T U n total utility of nth unit. T U n minus one total utility at previous level. अब मैं simple कर देता हूँ. Don't get confused, students. एक बार यहाँ पे फिर से formula लिखता हूँ. M U n Is equals to T U N minus T U N minus one. Now students, we find out करना है marginal utility of T U N. देखिए T U N ये है आपका eighteen. Eighteen आप लोगे minus T U N minus one मतलब previous वाला previous previous means this ten. So T U N minus one is ten. माइनस करेंगे तो आपको मिलेगा एट एट इज योर मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी यहां पे देखिए यू विल गेट एट सेम ट्वेंटी टू माइनस एटीन यू गेट फोर ट्वेंटी टू माइनस ट्वेंटी टू यू गेट जीरो 
20 minus 22, you get minus 2. So, m u n is equals to t u n minus t u n minus 1. Once again, kya hai formula? m u n is equals to t u n minus t u n minus 1. So, current minus previous, current minus previous, you get marginal utility. So, total utility ka current value or previous se aap minus ki jiye, you get marginal utility. And jo second formula hai, that is m u is equals to delta t u upon delta quantity. So, ye hoga aise 18 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. Dhyan di 18 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. Number of units represents quantity. So, again 8 upon 1 answer fir bhi 8 hi hoga. So, both the formulas you have to remember. So, what is the formula for total utility? T u is equals to summation of m u, addition of m u. You add m u, you get T u. What is the formula for m u? m u n is equals to T u n minus T u n minus 1. By heart this formulas. And second formula for m u is change in T u upon change in quantity. That is delta T u upon delta quantity. So, quickly we will read what they are trying to say. Total utility refers to the aggregate of utility derived by a consumer from all units of the commodity consumed. It is an aggregate of utilities from all successive units of the commodity consumed. Marginal utility refers to the additional utility derived by a consumer from an additional unit of the commodity consumed. In other words, it is the addition made by a by the last unit of the commodity consumed. It is an addition made by the last unit of the commodity consumed. So, this was your T U and M U. This concept you have to understand properly. Table we have already discussed. Either you can use this table or you can follow the table which I have given you. My table looks little easy. Easy to remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, total utility 10, 18, 22, 22, 20 and marginal utility is 10, 8, 4, 0, minus 2. So, now the table we are going to plot in the diagram. Let us draw the diagram. Here I will write T U M U. Here I will write number of units. So, we will take uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We will draw a little big line 16, 18, 20, 22. Okay. Number of units 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 we have. So, this is your number of units. Let us take this table. So, first we will plot uh, total utility. So, first unit total utility is 10. Okay. First unit total utility is 10. This is the dot I will take. Okay. Second unit total utility is 18. Okay. For second it is 18 okay let us take third third it is 22 fourth also 22 so both will be same so third unit is 22 even fourth unit is 22 and students fifth unit is 20 so fifth unit is giving you 20 okay so, let us join this points. So, moment we, this is your total utility. So, if you observe initially total utility increases, then becomes constant and then decreases. Look at the table. What is happening? Total utility increases constant then decreases. So, 10, 18, 22 it is increasing then 22, 22 constant 
and then it falls 22 becomes 20. This was total utility. Now let us draw marginal utility. So, in front of 1 you have 10, okay. Front of 1 you have 10. So, 10 is already there. In front of 2 you have 8. So, 2 is uh, 8, then 3 is 4. So, 3 is 4. 4 is 0 and 5 is 5 is minus 2 5 is your minus 2 so if I join this points I get a okay so this is your mu curve and this part gives you this utility, this shaded area which is below x axis gives you which point this utility gives you what this utility that is this satisfaction because mu has become negative. Okay, and when mu is 0, tu is maximum when mu is 0, tu is maximum. So, this point is called as point of satiety or you can say point of full satisfaction. Point of satiety, they have already written simple meaning is point of full satisfaction when mu is 0, tu is maximum. When mu is 0, tu was 22 as per our table. So, this is the diagram for total utility and marginal utility. So, total utility increases, constant decreases, but marginal utility diminishes, becomes 0 and also becomes negative. So, the negative portion below x axis portion represents this utility and topmost point of TU represents point of satiety that is full satisfaction point. So, this was relationship between total utility and marginal utility. Quickly, we will sum up utility derived by a consumer after consuming all units TU. What is the formula? TU is equals to summation of MU and utility derived by a consumer after consuming one additional unit of the commodity, last unit of the commodity, then that will give you marginal utility, one addition made, one addition made, please remember, and two formulas for mu, mu n is equals to tu n minus tu n minus 1. So, please remember from that table current minus previous you do, current minus previous. So, T u n minus T u n minus 1. So, this was your table and uh, diagram. So, very important formulas you have to remember table please understand and again diagram. So, question was relationship between T u and M u concepts based on total utility and marginal utility and utility is always measured on the basis of utils. Okay. So, table done, diagram we have done. I told you the shaded part represents this utility. So, total utility is increasing, constant decreases. But a marginal utility, marginal utility only declines because more quantity you consume of same commodity back to back. So, you, your utility will fall, relationship is inverse. So, quickly we will see this uh, distinguish what they have written. Total utility is the sum total of individual utilities derived from consumption of a single unit of the good. Marginal utility is the addition made to the total utility from every additional unit consumed. Okay. Total utility increases at diminishing rate, but MU diminishes, mu falls. Then uh, at point of satiety mu is 0, then uh, tu is maximum, 
TU will be maximum. Fourth point, total utility declines if consumption continues. Marginal utility can be marginal utility always declines. Fifth, total utility determines value in use of the commodity and MU determines value in exchange. Then marginal utility can be positive, negative, zero. Total utility is always positive. And the diagram for TU they have done, this will be the diagram for MU. This part is this utility. Okay, so so this was your total utility and marginal utility. These points you have to remember quickly. I will read total utility and marginal utility of very first unit consumed are same. That is 10, 10. As the consumer consumes further, total utility increases at diminishing rate. See 10, 18, 24, 28 then constant then falls and marginal utility goes on diminishing but marginal utility falls third at particular stage total utility reaches to a maximum this is the maximum and at that time uh, marginal utility is zero that is point of satiety full satisfaction point tu highest mu zero after this point any additional unit consumed further results in decline in the total utility now, if you consume forcefully, then now total utility will also fall and marginal utility becomes negative. After reaching the point of safety, a rational consumer would stop his consumption since the maximum limit of satisfaction is reached and there is no addition to total utility. So, a rational producer will always stop at which point where marginal utility is zero total utility is maximum beyond that you will not get anything you will get disutility so rational producer will always stop at 0.6 so consumption beyond point of satiety transform satisfaction into dissatisfaction so this is disutility so students very important Concepts based on total utility and marginal utility or question they may ask explain relationship between TU and MU table diagram explanation important formula important definition for TU and MU important. Okay students now let's begin with next question that is law of diminishing marginal utility very important law frequently asked question in the board exam law of dmu that is diminishing marginal utility now students here that utility concept will be useful that table that diagram what is tu what is mu everything will be coming here again so what is this law of diminishing marginal utility let's understand the introduction this law was first proposed by mr Gosain, that is Professor Gosain, proposed this law, invented this law, but was discussed in detail by Professor Alfred Marshall. I told you there is one person, he is a classical, neoclassical economist, Alfred Marshall. He was the one who took this concept ahead. Alfred Marshall ne ye concept ko aage leke gaye hai. And he has written one book, Principles of Economics, which year 1890. So, four things you have to remember. Law of Diminishing Marginal Utility was first brought into existence by Professor Gosain. Who introduced Professor Gosain? Who explained this in detail? Alfred Marshall. Alfred Marshall has written one book. What is the name of the book? Principles of Economics, which year 1890. So, while last time, last time, four things. Professor Gosain introduced the concept of law of DMU. Then, who took it forward? Who explained this in detail? Alfred Marshall. 
What's the name of his book? Principles of Economics, which year 1890. Okay. So now the law of diminishing margin and utility is a universal in character. It is based on the common consumer behavior that utility derived diminishes with the reduction in the intensity of the want. So as your intensity falls, your utility will fall. So intensity kabhi fall hoega jab aap same commodity back to back consume karega. First glass of water, I was very thirsty. First glass of water, very high utility. Second glass, utility mila, but first se kam tha. Third glass, utility mila, but second glass se kam tha. Fourth glass, utility mila, but third se kam tha. As more units you consume, your additional utility, matlab marginal utility will fall. They both have its relation, inverse relation. So, more of a thing you have, the less you want to have more of it. Repeat karo, more of a thing you have, the less you want to have more of it. Kyunki same commodity, if you consume back to back, initially utility and happiness is very high, but later on utility falls. Konsa marginal utility. If it becomes zero, then it may become negative also. So, according to Professor Alfred Marshall, other things remaining constant. Now, students, other things remaining constant means other factors, means assumptions. This I will again explain you. The additional benefit which a person derives from a given increase in his stock of a thing diminishes with every increase in stock that he already has. This statement you have to by heart word to word. So, start kaise karne ka? According to Alfred Marshall, other things being constant, other things means all assumptions should remain same, they should not change, then only law of DMU will be applicable, then only this law of DMU will be correct. So, other things being constant, what is the meaning of other things being constant? Other assumptions, all other assumptions which we are going to do now. So, an additional benefit which a consumer derives from a given increase in stock of a thing diminishes with every increase in stock that he already has. Matlab, jo product aapke paas already hai aur wohi product agar aap bar bar purchase karoge to initially benefit to zyada hai but wo benefit kya ho jayega? Kam ho jayega. Because your quantity is increasing and your utility is decreasing. Same stock. If you keep on adding, then your extra utility that is marginal utility will fall. In other words, marginal utility that any consumer derives from the successive units of the particular commodity goes on diminishing as his or her total consumption of that commodity increases. In short, the more of a thing you have, the less you want to have more of it. Very important. More of a thing you have, the less you want to have more of it. Same hai students, marginal utility, total utility, the table which I had explained, the same, everything same. So, look at the table. As number of units increases, marginal utility diminishes. This becomes 0, this is point of satiety, full satisfaction point. And this is nothing but what disutility. This is what disutility. Okay, and here they have plotted only MU curve, only marginal utility curve. Unhone plot kiya hai. And what is the shape of MU? It is downward sloping. One part is below x axis. To aapko ye jo shaded area milta hai, that is what? So, the shaded area what you get, this part represents, this green part represents what? Disutility, that is dissatisfaction. So, when they ask relationship between TU and MU, then you will draw both the curves, total utility curve which is increasing, constant, diminishes and also MU curve, but in law of DMU, 
it is only marginal utility curve you will draw plot properly systematically draw the line it should be downward sloping because relationship is inverse see relationship is inverse number of units increases number of units increases marginal utility diminishes and you get a downward sloping line which one part is positive this part is positive here it is zero and one part is negative so mu can be positive zero negative mu can be positive zero negative so diagram table you have already understood we have already done same thing here same table in fact you can use there is no problem at all now coming to assumptions now this law of dmu is based on certain assumptions other things being constant that is nothing but they are talking about assumptions assumptions are nothing but conditions in order to make this law successful all these assumptions should be fulfilled but in reality they are not fulfilled students so this law is not realistic this to some extent it could be applicable but otherwise it becomes unrealistic so first assumption rationality rationality means a consumer consuming units should be a rational person normal insan person who always aims for maximum satisfaction is a rational person so consumer is assumed to be a rational it means that his behavior is normal and he tries to maximize his satisfaction but students every consumer is not a rational person like drunkards drug addicts they are not rational people they come under irrational category next is cardinal measurement that is utility can be measured using numbers the law assumes that utility can be cardinally or numerically measured hence mathematical operations are easily possible to know and compare the utility derived from each unit of the commodity but students alfred marshall is telling utility can be measured using numbers but in reality you cannot measure utility through cardinal measurement or through numbers because it is an abstract term you can always give a rank you can say more utility less utility but you cannot measure utility through numbers next homogeneity now students here we consumed which fruit here we consumed apple how many units we consumed five units same table i can take so here what uncle is trying to say what alfred marshall is telling homogeneous means exactly same so all five units consumed should be exactly same shape size color taste design quality flavor exactly same exactly homogeneous exactly identical not possible can i say a box containing apples the shape could be different the taste may differ a color the shape may differ exactly homogeneous exactly same not possible so 100% homogeneity factor may not be fulfilled so all units of the commodity consumed are exactly homogeneous or identical in shape size color taste next is continuity students how many units five what alfred marshall is telling all five units of apple should be consumed back to back without any time gap like if first apple is consumed 10 am second apple is consumed 10 pm no not done all five units should be consumed back to back but because but if you keep the gap then the hunger factor will come then the additional unit of the apple will actually give you higher utility rather than lower so please remember as more of a thing you have your utility falls so in order to make this law successful in order to apply law of dmu please remember all units should be consumed back to back without any time gap all units of commodity are consumed in quick succession without any lapse of time next is reasonability reasonability means the shape of the commodity should be reasonable apple mango banana 
chiku reasonable in size so it should not be too big it should not be too small can i take watermelon can i take jackfruit big in size can i take uh, grapes too small in size so it should be reasonable in size students all units of the commodity consumed are reasonable in size they are neither too big nor too small next constancy all the related factors like income taste habit choice likes dislikes of the consumer should remain same so my after consuming units back to back my taste my preference my likes should not change they should remain constant so marginal utility of money is also assumed to be constant but this is not true in reality students because every additional unit every additional money gives you more utility say example if your father decides to give you pink color note pink color currency note i am talking about which currency 2000 rupees every day so your additional satisfaction will be same or it will increase your happiness will be same or it will increase can i say it will increase so every day your dad is giving you 2000 rupees 2000 rupees 2000 rupees so every additional unit of currency note or every additional unit of money marginal utility will not remain constant in reality it will increase but here they are telling assume to be constant next divisibility law assumes that commodity consumed by the consumer is divisible so that it can be acquired into small quantity so for we can consume from bits and pieces so fruits vegetables yes we can then single want a given commodity can satisfy a single want of a person the law assumes an experience of a single want which is completely satiable at a given point of time so commodity should be used only to fulfill one single want it should not fulfill multiple wants so please these are the assumptions that is nothing but conditions and the statement that other things remaining constant is nothing but all assumptions should remain same should remain equal should remain constant then only law of dmu will be correct then only law of dmu will be successful and other things remaining constant is also known as what's the word citrus paribus citrus paribus is nothing but other things being constant another name for other things being constant is what citrus paribus so assumptions you have to write in exam they may ask explain law of diminishing marginal utility whether they mention or not assumptions are must you have to write assumptions so homogeneity single use divisibility rationality continuity constancy these are few assumptions of law of dmu now let's move to the exceptions Ex exceptions means those points which will go against the law which will exactly behave opposite like what law says more you consume less will be the marginal utility as more units you consume less will be the marginal utility what is the relation students inverse but here they will say more you consume more will be the marginal utility less you consume less will be the marginal utility so they will behave exactly opposite they will go against the law exceptions first is hobbies can i say people have different different hobbies collecting currency different different countries currency coins paintings uh, girls would have the ha uh, have hobby of collecting handbags many different different stuff i have the hobby of collecting pens so more i collect more i purchase more i collect because it's my hobby i love it so more number of pens i collect my utility increases my happiness increases it will not diminish so more number of units you add more will be the utility so in certain hobbies like collection of various stamps and coins rare paintings music reading etc the law does not hold true because every additional increase in the stock gives more pleasure because that is our hobby we like it 
This increases marginal utility therefore, this violates the assumption of homogeneity and continuity. So, what they are trying to say? See, I may not collect exactly same pen, same color pen again and again. So, homogeneity factor is gone. And secondly, I may not collect every day. So, continuity factor is gone. Moment I will find something good, something better, a new variety of pen I may purchase. So, homogeneity and continuity factor not applicable here. So, that part gets dissolved. Second is miser, miser ko hum log kehte hai kanjus admi, the one who loves to save money, the one who is not willing to spend money, jisko paisa accumulate karna hai, jama karna hai paisa. Can I say more he collect, more he accumulates money, more happiness and more utility he derives, because that is his nature. In the case of miser, every additional rupee given gives him more and more satisfaction, marginal utility of money tends to increase with the increase in stock of money. However, the situation ignores the assumption of rationality. Please remember miser's behavior is irrational. So, your rationality factor is ignored. Fair addictions, drunkards, smokers, again they are irrational people. So, a drunkard loves to consume alcohol and every additional peg of alcohol gives him more intoxication more happiness, more satisfaction. So, it is observed that in case of drunkard, the level of intoxication increases with every additional unit of liquor consumed. So, more he consumes, more happiness, more he consumes, more happiness, or do, or peena hai, do mujhe. So, MU received by drunkard may increase, actually it is only an illusion, this condition is similar to almost all addictions, drugs, cigarettes, because they are addicted to it, they are habituated to it. However, this violates the assumption of rationality. So, drug addicts, alcohol addicts, drunkards, they are irrational people. Again, rationality assumption is violated. Next is power. Power means higher position, higher designation. So, if boss keeps you on giving you promotion, you will ask for more, your happiness increases, your satisfaction increases. This is an exception to law because when a person acquires power, his lust for power increases. Or chahiye, or chahiye. He desires to have more and more of it. However, this again violates the rationality assumption. So, this behavior of asking for more power, more power is bit irrational behavior. Next is uh, money, okay, students, very important element of modern civilization. Can I say money is the most important element for running a business or to start a business? Quality of life and standard of living you can achieve with the help of money, students. Money is not the only thing. Money is everything. See? It is said that MU of money never becomes zero because every additional rupee you get, your utility increases, your happiness increases. The example which I gave, your father giving you pink color currency note every day. It increases when the stock of money increases. This is because money is a medium of exchange which is used to satisfy various wants. So, money is the only medium through which all your wants can be fulfilled. However, according to some economists, the law is applicable to money too. For example, marginality of money is more to poor and less to rich. So, can I say for rich additional rupee may not give that much happiness because any which way he has more money. Already uske paas baut paisa hai. So, ME of money for rich is less. But poor ke paas paisa baut kam hai ya uske paas nahi hai. So, agar usko 50 rupees ya 100 rupees bhi extra mil gaya, to uska marginal utility increase ho jayega. So, for poor, ME of money is more, but for rich, ME of money is less. So, these were exceptions and exceptions will go against the law. They will not support the law. So, hobbies, miser, addicts, power, all these are examples of exceptions to law of DMU. Okay. 
However, these exceptions are only apparent since they violate some of the other assumptions. So, of the law, hence, very important, hence, they are not real exceptions because in many points you will find homogeneity factor, rationality factor, continuity factor is violated. Please remember, true or false, exceptions of law of DMU are real exceptions, false. They are not real exceptions because they violate some points of assumptions. Very important because they violate some points of assumption that is why they are not real exceptions. So, this was your assumptions and exceptions we discussed. So, in case if you come across a question explain law of DMU with exceptions, explain the concept introduction. Mr. Go, uh, Professor Gosain, Alfred Marshall, Principles of Economics, 1890. Then you will write the statement, other things being constant, additional benefit a person derives from increase in the stock of a thing, diminishes with every increase in stock that he already has. Then table, diagram, MU curve, then assumptions you will explain and also write the head points, at least the head points of exceptions you have to write. So, this was your law of diminishing marginal utility.